celebrating 20 years is the starting of another 20 years. And I wish to be part of the celebration so that together we can tell each other what about the next 20 years. Because poverty, the more you do something good is the more you are creating 10 bad things. When we build 20 houses, 30 people invade land and want to have houses. So the, 20, the coming 20 years has to be a very strong process to bring more and more people to be self-reliant. And we have to also build our financial muscle. I think when we talk about Akiba Mashinani, for the coming 20 years, we should have more than 100 million shillings. Or US dollars. Shillings is nothing compared to US dollars. If we can have 100 million US dollars as the Kenya Federation within the starting of the 20 years, we will become so independent from government. We can do whatever we want because our financial muscle is there. Secondly, what we have to look at, we have to look at broadening our social movement because that's another weakness with all the federations. We are only looking at our existing membership and say this is our boundary, we are focusing here. But for the com coming 20 years, we have to open up for other maybe communities who are not, let's say, they are not interested in savings, but they are interested in our process. We have to create a room to educate them on why this savings is so important. I know in the SDI family, we are always fighting each other to say, uh, you know, this membership approach is not building the process. You should just call it a social movement and don't consider the membership. But we are forced to also talk about membership because for you to become part of the social movement, you, we are driven by savings. And then savings, may, as an individual, you have to contribute. So you are part of the members who are contributing towards savings. So how we are going to unfold this process to engage the people who are not savers? Development is going to force us to do that. Because when we talk about sanitation, we can't do sanitation for only 10 members in that settlement. We have to look at sanitation for the entire community. And then now, th that is the challenge of most of our federations because we want to see our members achieving or benefiting before other people who are not members of the federation. So this agenda has to be looked at. That how are we going to build the social movement, not the saving schemes per se, where else the saving schemes are very important, but the most important part is to create partnership with other CBOs, create partnership with community leaders who don't understand the SDI process, even if they don't want to become SDI, but we have to fight to create the space to dialogue with them because development has to benefit everyone who lives in that settlement. I think this is the, 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 the process that we are going to carry for the next 20 years. And for the most important thing is that the Federation will never die. Because we are, our money will always grow, meaning that it will keep the Federation alive. Secondly, the more we give land to people is the more the demand comes. The more we build two houses is the more demand comes. Government can build houses for everyone. We've got three kinds of people. We are having people who are waiting. We are having people who are doing. We are having people who are totally lazy. So we have to address all these three kind of people. And it's only when we use the SDI rituals through the Kenyan Federation that we can reach and reach and reach out to more people and bring development to the people and make people to drive their own development and create more partnership with our local authorities and national government. Because that's the most important. If we don't create partnership with these levels of government, even if we can do something good on the ground, it won't be recognized. Sometimes they can reject it, 
the, the municipality can say, I don't know of this, so I'm not recognizing it in my own offices. So partnership is also very important. The next 20 years, we have to fight to have the strong partnership and participate in the governance of our government. What I like to say is that continue doing the good job. And I think the NGO, it collapsed. It came up again. I hope the NGO that is there should be the NGO that is driven by the ideas coming up from the people, meaning from the federation. It should not be an NGO, a conventional NGO that says, I've got this money, I have to do this for my people. But it has to be the NGO that is influenced by what the people are doing. And then on the side of the federation, I'm still emphasizing that we should really empower more and more women to take charge of this process because the women are more listened to than the men. You know the struggle of, of Kenya, men are fighting for positions. They always like to be on top. But as the federation, we should strengthen the women so that whilst men are fighting for position, women are driving the process and make it happen for, the, for their family and their future. I think it will bear a good fruit and it will make all other affiliates of SDI to learn more from the Kenyans.